Hi guys, this is Bloody Wheels. Today we are here again with the CMMG Bravo kit that converts your AR-15 to be able to shoot 22 long rifle. If you tuned in to my last video, I mentioned I was planning on making a loader for these mags. These mags here are 25 round magazines. And yes, CM CMMG does offer 10 round options for those capacity limited states. But I mentioned I really wanted to make a loader for these magazines. I've heard of many people having difficulty loading when it gets to about the 15th round to finish up the last 10. And here's the loader that I've come up with. Very similar in design to the pistol mag loaders I already make, with, but it's a lot different, which you'll see here. This is the visual representation. No, they're not perfect. As I mentioned in all my listings and my videos, no item I sell is perfect. I wish I can offer perfection, but this is as good as uh, you can get. Very functional, which really matters it. Uh, these are currently going to be offered in black only. And yes, you see the, the bottom end is not boxed, so it's kind of bendy, so be careful when you get these not to play around it and bend it too much. I mean, obviously they can break, but I'm going to show you why it's designed that way here in just a minute. Now, I explored many different options on making loaders for these magazines, and I, I looked around to see what other companies were doing, so I came up with uh, something similar to what another company was doing. I don't remember their name, but they were taking advantage of the grooving in the CMMG mags. So the loader, the loader will follow this grooving here, which I will show you when we load. But I think it was a good, good option to do that. Let's go ahead and do that now. I've got some 22 ammo. And no, I'm not sponsored by American Eagle. It's just some cheap ammo I picked up a couple months ago. I'm not sponsored by anybody, just to let you know. Let's go ahead and uh, get 25 rounds out here and load one of these mags to capacity. Let's go ahead and move some of this stuff out of the way. We don't need this right now. All right, so these mags here are not like conventional AR-15 mags that have that are 223 and 556 where you just push down on the round, you just keep pushing down. These are similar to pistol mags. So when you load around, you're gonna to have to load it underneath the feed lips here, which I'll show you. So how to operate this loader, you'll go ahead and uh, load one run, by excuse me, load one round by hand. You will push this follower down, place the round underneath your feed lips and push back, just like your pistol mags, okay? I hope you can see that pretty good on video. This loader here, it's bendy on purpose because it's going to go around, and slip around top of this magazine and slip into those grooves there. Look how cool that is. That way you don't have to kind of fiddle with it, get it just right on top of that round. It follows those grooves for you. So let me see if we can load this mag to capacity here on video. The way I do it, it's kind of hard to do it on camera and show you at the same time, but I'm gonna to try to do it here. All right, let's go ahead and push down. Place one round underneath your feed lips. I didn't do it that time. Place up on the loader and back. And the first few rounds are gonna be quite easy. There's hardly any friction there, not, not much spring tension there. So they're, it's very, very easy. Now the easiest way I have found is to grab this loader from the side and push down. All right, load your uh, round underneath the feed lips, up on the loader and back on the round. And we will keep doing that until we fill this magazine to capacity. Once again, everything is just difficult on camera, trying to make sure you guys can see it and that I can see it at the same time. I don't know how many of you have videotaped before but everything is just more difficult on camera and maybe it's just me i'm not the smartest smartest guy in the world in fact i'm not not smart at all but i seem to have trouble on camera all right where are we at so far we're getting down to the nitty gritty you will start feeling some friction down low starting just a little bit Man, if I can do this, so that didn't work out too well. Here we go. My camera is right underneath my hands here, so it's, it's kind of hard to do it the way I'm used to loading these things and showing you on film at the same time. But we're gonna get it done here. It's much easier when you get to do it and not have to videotape yourself. All right, so we've got five rounds left, okay? And we're starting to feel some friction here. I can just push down with my thumb, place up on the loader, push the round back. 
just like your pistol mag. Let's see if we can get all 25 in here pretty successfully. 24 and 25. Very simple. And to take it off, you'll just have to bend it just a little bit just to get it to slide off the magazine. Just like so. So there's 25 rounds. I loaded this the other day and went pretty, pretty fast when I wasn't videotaping myself, obviously. But with my camera in the way right here, it's kind of hard to hold it the way I was. I hold the base of the mag against my chest or my, my muffin top there and hold the mag loader with the thumb and my index finger and push down. But I have nothing to debrace the magazine on here because the camera's in the way once again. But, but that's how I load and it loaded pretty quickly. We won't load the rest of the, vid the uh, magazines just to save some video time. But there you go. There's a full capacity 25 round uh, magazine. So I have read people that had trouble. They said they couldn't get any more than 20 in these mags. Now this was really, really simple. I got all 25 rounds in there. These mags have not been broken in yet. This is straight out of the package. Uh, well, one of them, well, I did load one of them, but the other two have not been loaded. So yeah, very simple, all 25 rounds. So you will start feeling friction around the 15th round, a little more around the 20th round, and the last five could be a little difficult by hand, but this loader definitely makes it a lot easier, a lot simpler. But yeah, that's the loader there. Let's look at it again. Once again, um, black is the only color option. You will see each nub, I guess I call it that uh, grips onto the mag and to the, uh, the grooves here that follows so it can't jump out. Makes it loading a whole lot more simple. Yes, these ca things can break if you put a lot of force on them. Okay, so just be mindful that they're not meant to be squeezed. Just a little bit, just to uh, not squeeze, but spread apart just to get it around the magazine there and get it to lock in. So yeah, let's go ahead and put it on the empty mag here. See, Not much friction at all, very nice. So that's the way I decided to design it. I'm hoping some of you may be interested in that. I don't know. I don't think I get a lot of followers who are in the AR-15 world. Many, maybe you are. I don't know. It seems like those videos are not very popular, but that's okay. I like AR-15s. I like all guns. BB guns. Well, I don't care what it is. Any kind of gun I like. So hopefully some of you may uh, have a need for this. It'll be on my website here shortly. I will send a link to my website in the video description below, but just in case you don't read down there, I'll go ahead and say it here. It is bloodywheelsusa.com, and if you're visiting this video for the first time, this is not the only product I offer. I offer loaders for a host of different pistol magazines. I offer magazine sleeves for a couple different pistols, Taurus mainly. That seems to be the more popular sleeve that I offer. So if you get a chance, please go check out the website. I try to add as many items as I can. Um, not as many items as I would like, but I still work a full-time job, so finding time is very difficult uh, at this point in life. But in the future, I plan on adding a lot more items, so we'll see how that goes. So once again, please video visit my site, bloodywheelsusa.com, and go check it out. Thanks for watching. Have a good day.